Say thank you. Those three words are often said by any parent raising children. It seems ingrained into our culture and most cultures that thankfulness is a good thing and it's an expected thing. In fact, in scripture, we're encouraged in 1 Thessalonians 5, Paul writes, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Thankfulness, it's the key that turns your situation around because it changes you, your outlook and your attitude. It sets things in proper perspective. And listen, thankfulness, it brings contentment, but discontentment dries up the soul. Elizabeth Elliot is known as an effective Christian author and leader. She lost her husband on the mission field and faced many hardships in her life. But listen to what she says about thankfulness, loving God's will, and being content. She says, to love God is to love his will. It's to wait patiently for life to be measured by one who knows us through and through. It's to be content with his timing and his wise appointment. It is to be following in his steps as the master, as Paul did, who was able to say that he learned contentment no matter what the circumstances. Well, what were his circumstances when he wrote that? Prison, no easy lesson, but great gain, which is the sum of godliness plus contentment. See, thankfulness leads us to the place of contentment. And listen to where the Word of God says contentment leads us. Galatians 6.6 6 says, Now godliness with contentment is great gain. The greatest place to be in life is to be in the place of contentment. It's what most people are really searching for and looking for in life. And thankfulness is the doorstep to contentment. Let me just leave you with one final thought from Christian author William Law from the 1600s. He says this, God smiles when we praise and thank him continually. Few things feel better than receiving heartfelt praise and appreciation from someone else, and God loves it too. And amazing things happen when we offer praise and thanksgiving to God. When we give God enjoyment, our hearts are filled with joy. So today, just as you would encourage your kids, let me encourage you to say thank you to God. Not only is it the right thing, it's one of the best things you can do today.